Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. Oh yes. I was thinking, we don't have long until Resident Evil 2 comes out. And, uh, I dusted off my, uh, PlayStation 1. I am actually running this on the actual PlayStation 1. Um, working great with my capture card. And I had a little go on this the other day and I thought, you know what? You know what? It's time. It's time for another run of Resident Evil 2. Something nice and easy to fill the gap between this and the remake. It's been a long time since we've sat down and played Resident Evil together. I think it was at least four years ago, maybe. It was about four years ago, yeah, and I think we played... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we played the Dreamcast version. I picked up this PlayStation copy about a year ago, and uh, yeah, why not? Let's run Claire A, Leon B. Um, I haven't actually fully played through Resident Evil 2 since I did the Let's Play, so <laughs> it's been a while. So it's going to be interesting to see how much um, that I can remember. Now, after playing the demo for the new Resident Evil 2 the other day, oh... Holy shit! I know some people aren't too in, like excited about it, and it's not the Resident Evil 2 remake that they wanted. And yeah, I yeah I get it. I get a lot of people wanted the uh, the uh, traditional camera angles and all that kind of stuff. But I actually really enjoyed the over the shoulder view. I think it really really worked. And as much as I like static camera angles. Would that work today? I don't know. I don't know. And who knows? Maybe in time they will offer um, a different mode. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? If they offered another mode. Um, so you could play it with the original static camera angles. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let's get into this. We can play it on easy. Um, or we can play it on normal. We're gonna play it on normal. Um, let's do it. I think my Claire disc is in. I hope so. Otherwise, we're gonna be doing Leon A. Mm. I'm so hyped to play this, and with the original, original PlayStation control pad. Everyone uh, forgets about this little guy. A bizarre. Way before the joy. Um, of an American suburb called way before the uh, analog sticks were standard. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the International Enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bio experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Hello? 
Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. Oh man, that scene does not get old. Holy shit. Now, one thing that is a they were parted by an unescapable destiny. Yeah, man. This was just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Now, the one unfortunate thing, and let's get the fuck out of here before we do anything. Uh, out of the way, zombie. Um, of actually playing this natively on the original PlayStation 1 is... Due to how I've got this game running. Now, you might notice that this actually looks a lot nicer than uh, it should do running on the PlayStation 1. But that's because I'm using an RGB SCART lead that's going into a HDMI upscaler. And because of that, unfortunately, we can't play it in 3x4 aspect ratio. If I uh, change it in my editing software, it garbles the whole lot. But before we get any further, can we take a moment to appreciate how beautiful the box for this game is? That is such a freaking menacing box. I love it. I, this this image is burned into my brain from being uh, a youngling back when I was terrified of games. Even the back of this box just oozes awesomeness. Do you remember when game cases were really cool? I remember when game cases were really cool. They're uh, <clears throat> pretty shit these days. Anyway. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Don't shoot. Don't shoot! I'm a human! I'm a human! Cringe line. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about Sorry that, about babe. That, babe. Ooh. Hate that line. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. <laughs> I love that sound effect from bolting the door. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, 
The entire city was infested with zombies. Zombies. Oh my. Right, well, uh, you seem to have a good old eye on it around here. You, you have the situation under control, my friend. But don't you worry, girl. Ugh. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Yeah, he comes off megaly creepy with Claire. Look at the way he's like leering at her ass as she walks by. Now, I'm <laughs> I'm assuming it's just bad translation, but uh, let's get out of it. Now, obviously, there's handgun ammo there, and there's handgun ammo there, but we're not going to be picking that up for a certain reason. Also, this pains me. This is agony, but we're out of here. We could stay and watch him get chewed and eaten alive and grab the bow gun off him, but we want to activate a secret. Yeah, we want to activate a secret here. And uh, most of you will know what I'm uh, pointing at, but for everybody else, have faith. Down that alley here as well, just down here, there is some more ammo. But we don't want to pick it up. Because if we pick up anything, this is going to be a right pain in the fucking dick to get by now. Yeah, if we pick up anything, we blow the secret. And it's quite a cool secret, to be fair, as well. Um, it's not an unusual secret for the Resident Evil franchise, especially the early games. But it's kind of unusual how you unlock it. Also, can we take a look at how beautiful these scenes are. I mean, let's be fair, Raccoon says he's a bit of a shithole, actually. This wouldn't fly for Truro. But, uh, you know, it's a very run-down city. Now, I know there's zombies and all that crap, but come on. Come on. Come on, love. Yeah, I knew she was going to bite me. Probably going to get eaten alive by, like, every fucking zombie on the way here. I think we... Yeah, and then... Ah, nice. He got us back to us. Piss off, prick. Beautiful. Excellente. Let's keep going. Ah, God. They've done such a good job. You know, for me, these scenes are just ageless. Absolutely ageless. There's some more ammo down here, but... We don't want it. We don't want nothing, mate. Come on. There's some more bullets there, but again, we don't want them. We're going to take the hit. Fuck off. Right, let's see if we can down this guy. Yes, nice. Double tap him, drop him straight down. Beautiful. Now, I think Claire's handgun actually holds uh, less ammo. Than Leon's, from what I can remember. They do like the same damage. Alright, go okay, over, thread the needle. A little bit like that. Over this. There we go. Ah, you fucking dickhead. Should have seen that coming. Never mind. And finally, to the police station. Oh, it feels like coming home after so many years. Now, if we've done this correctly, which I'm pretty sure we have. An old friend is down here. Yeah, see, not picking anything up has made Brad spawn. Now, Brad was the chopper pilot from the original uh, game. Uh, you actually see him in a little bit more detail in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. You see uh, just how he uh, ended up like that. However, how. Oh, fuck. How he's actually walking around, I'm not sure. Um, especially if you know what happens to him in Resident Evil 3. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot left of him, put it that way. Now, there should be a herb here, yeah. We've got 10 rounds left and the survival knife. Okay, so circle to get into our inventory. And that makes sense. Now, Claire has the lockpick. Whereas Leon has the lighter. Now, in that little gardeny bit there, there's zombies. So, we don't really want to go in there. And here we are, home sweet home. Ah, oh, feels good to be back. The music! Oh, that music, that wonderful, like... There's nothing like it. There's nothing like the music in this game. Um, Resident Evil 1 through 3 just had these amazing ambient soundtracks. 
the um <sighs> like Resident Evil 2 demo was cool and holy shit it was cool right I I really am very impressed with what I've seen <sighs> but the soundtrack is just is nothing to this it's literally nothing to this I'm hoping beyond all hope um that the soundtrack for the actual rest of the game is better um, but even if it isn't, if you pre-order it and get the deluxe edition, you can actually swap it out so you can have the original soundtrack, which is really cool. Right, come on, Braddy boy. Now, there's a reason we want to put old Brad, Chicken Heart, here out of his misery. And that's because he has something really interesting. Oh, you, actually, you know what? That works. That's actually going to save a lot of bullets, to be fair. And we get the special key. Voss's Das for. Hmm. Let's go find out together, shall we? Let's go find out just what this special key does. Who am I kidding? I know what it does. You know what it does. We all know what this special key does. Apart from if you've never played Resident Evil 2 before. And if that's true, stop watching this and go play it. Seriously, it's that good. I would rather you turn off this LP, find yourself a copy, and play it yourself. Then come back and watch this LP. So, we do have the old save system. Yes, and I have got a fresh memory card installed that is empty. Will you use the computer? We will not use the computer. Because we don't have a card to use the computer with. Now, our gun is empty. Am I going to leave it empty? Most likely. Hmm. So, let's go see our friend Marvin, shall we? Good old Will Smith. And Marvin in the new game looks amazing. They've done a stellar job with him. Look at these scenes. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ten ago. Ten days ago, you say? Chris. Jill Barry. Barry! Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. Zombie-like In a creatures. mansion located in the outskirts of this I love his animation. City. Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind <gasps> Umbrella. At the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. <sighs> Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But, but I said go. Just we'll go. Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Oh, we'll be back for you. Don't worry, Marvin. Don't you worry about it, my friend. Everything is under control. Miss Redfield is in the building. Right, now we can use the keycard on this fantabulous computer over here. Now, I am actually going to drop a save here. Um, main reason is, this is a, what do you mean you don't need to use this? Yes, we do. This is a very old PlayStation 1 that I'm using. I had three of them. I can only find one. And I know one of them was a little bit iffy. Um, one of them was really good. But I don't think it was this one. So we're going to save it. Not a lot, hopefully. But, nah, I don't know. I think we'd be okay for now. Famous last words. Famous last words, because we've got to go deal with a interesting little friend. 
one that was interestingly absent from the demo. But anyway, what do we have? Oh, yes. I forgot this was an item room. Police memorandum. Oh. So, 23rd of the 8th, 1998. This letter is just to inform everybody about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct rearrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the Stars office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. 2236. Yeah, okay, got ya. 2236. Now, that was the room that we were just in with uh, our friend Marvin there. Gee, I hope Marvin's okay. I hope nothing horrible happens to him. f aid spray. Nice. We'll take the f aid spray. Now, we have the combat knife as well. There's the liquor. The first glimpse of the liquor. I was so disappointed that you don't get to see that um, with the remake. I mean, I'm sure they're cooking up something good for the remake. Ah, oh, now this camera angle here as well. This is the only time you ever get this camera angle. It only appears once, and I love it. Let's move on. Oh. Things are looking a little bit dribbly here, aren't they? All right, buddy. You appear to have lost your head. His head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Oh, my. Oh my, that is not good. Now, does this guy have two packs of bullets? No, just the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we need the spade key for this door, I believe. Yeah. <sighs> Hello, me old mate. Nice to see you again. You're not a pretty thing, are you? Mm. Oh, gribbly. Now, we're not going to be fighting this guy. We're not going to be fighting this guy with a bloody handgun. Um, I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Can we kill him with a handgun? Yes. Is it a 100% success rate? No. Now, this corridor as well. Look at how good this still looks. This corridor with all these boarded up windows, man. <sighs> Holy shit. I was so terrified of this corridor when I was a kid. I remember uh, a certain thing happens a little bit later on um, that literally made me jump up and turn off my PlayStation when I was a kid. I used to be terrified of games as a kid. Operation Report. Operation Report, September 26th. Raccoon, uh, the Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communication equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond the Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons, mm, Chief Irons, has voiced concern regarding the issues uh, of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all the ammunition caches. It's become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. I like the way they actually explain why there's ammo dotted around all over the place. To unlock the weapon storage, uh, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Alright, David Ford. Operation Report, September 27th, 1pm. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the uh, confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Reporter David Ford. Additional report. Three additional people were killed in the following sudden appearance of an 
as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws, however its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant, their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively uh, named this creature the Licker, and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. What you need to deal with it is a grenade launcher, or a shed ton of shotgun shells. Well, two, really, if you're unlucky, three. Yeah, the way they've redesigned this building as well, or this room in the remake was really nice. See, I can't remember where like everything is. Empty soda cans and junk, nothing else. This isn't going to be like a speed run or anything like that. I'm going to be just enjoying it again, you know? Okay. Don't know how many parts this is going to take either. I don't think it's going to take me too long to crack it out. Now, we need the jewel there, but we can't use that. Or can't get that, I should say. Until I know there's bullets in here. At least I thought there was bullets in here. A sacrifice to the hellfire. Yeah, we need the lighter for that. Could have sworn there was ammo in that room. Huh, maybe not. Maybe my old brain is uh playing tricks on me. As I said, it's gotta be coming up to around three years since I last played. And again, just listen to that music. It really is incredible. Alright. Let's keep going. To the dark room. Oh, we're actually almost on half an hour, so we might as well dump a save down here. Oh, rookie mistake. Run. Nope. Getting eaten. We've taken a lot of damage here, but... Oh, she's dead. But that's to be expected, I suppose. Alright, let's just drop these guys as quick as we can. We are going to be destroying as many of the enemies as possible. Now, you're going to kind of see how... Again, the, the Resident Evil myth is in full effect here. The fact that uh, everyone always says how hard Resident Evil is. You're always scrabbling for ammo and all that shit. Which really is not true. Alright, let's grab you, and we're going to grab you. Lovely. Alrighty. Hey, mister. Have some bullets. Your favorite flavor. Sit down and shut up. Cool. Now, let's go into our first proper save room of the game. And you should be able to hear that wonderful save room music. Oh, I was so disappointed the save room music is not in the actual game. Uh, in the remake, or at least it's not in the demo. No items. Okay, so we're going to drop that down because we don't need that. Never going to need to use that again. And because we have the key, we're not going to be using that either. So, Titan, you madman. What are you thinking of, putting your handgun and your knife away? Just what are you planning? Well, well, my friends, have a look at this. This is what the key is used for, the special key. We have our alternate hidden outfit for Claire. And I have to say, Claire's outfit is so much better than what Leon gets. So yeah, we're going to use that. But wait, with Claire, there is more. There's an old gun here. Claire also gets the Colt SAA. Which is a... I think it's pretty much the same as like the regular handgun. It doesn't do any more damage or anything like that. But... And it's only a six shot. But it fires a lot quicker. Colt SAA artillery model. Used by cowboys in the Wild West. Designed for quick draw. Yeah, this weapon's cool. Really cool. You can really get the lead out with this thing as well. Now, do we have anything else in here? There's some ink ribbons. Lovely. I'm going to be wanting those. Uh, anything else? I think there's some bullets in here. 
Yeah, there is. Nice. We need bullets. Definitely more comfortable taking a liquor on with uh, this gun. As opposed to the standard handgun. Now, can we read that file? Yes, we can. Operation Report 2. Uh, early morning, 2.30 a.m., zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. Ah, David Ford, I'm guessing. The one that wrote the other report. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapon cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a patch leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee that the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we have locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Elliot Howard. Thank you, Elliot, my friend. Hopefully we are going to make good use of that. However, survival is not guaranteed so anyway guys that's going to end it for the first part of resident evil 2 i hope you've enjoyed it i cannot freaking wait to play some more thank you very much for watching as always till next time